All right, you guys, so we got a pretty lady from 300 Clan. Let's see, where is she going though? I hear it, I hear it, but I don't see it. Ah, there it is. So she, uh, they're using giants. I'm not sure if it's a lady or not, but they're going in with giants and these guys are gonna pull out the clan castle troops. Those level seven archers, they stock up uh, their clan castle with a lot of those guys so that they can keep the witch inside but it looks like they pulled her out anyway. Just enough to get every single troop out. So they're bringing them down to the corner. This is probably most likely the area where the attack will begin. They're gonna take out these archers and it shouldn't be too hard. They don't have enough uh, wizards to do splash damage on the opposing clan castle. So it looks like they're going in for the attack right here. And I can't understand how this is, oh, I see. He used Hog Riders. That's how he got the three star. <laughs> this is where it's gonna happen. And if they could just, I'm, I'm thinking that they're gonna try and take out their heroes. There's the king. He's about to go down, and the queen should be next. And once that happens, yep, there they go. The Hog Riders are going in. They're a blast from the past. The Infernal Tower is the main target. They're gonna, they are going to try and go for because those do the most damage for hog riders unless they're mega bombs of course but the inferno towers just burn through your heal spell so that's always a priority now hopefully he's going to freeze that infernal tower right there he does with the rage spell and it looks like his case closed hey they almost died <laughs> if that was a <laughs> i don't think they were um I don't think they were planning for a hog rider attack, so. All right, just a little bit left. If they could hurry up and get that wizard tower. He might take down the king, maybe. No, king's all right, ladies and gentlemen. What a very, whoa, all the hog riders are gone. Very textbook play. Very nicely done. Good thing they didn't attack from the top up here because that would have been it. And those uh, skeleton minions are chewing their way through that wall. They should be able to get to it and get this last bit of, uh, oh my gosh, everyone died. And that should be it though. No, another mega bomb. They, they, they had all the mega bombs planted up here. <laughs> Whoa. All right, and that was a really nice uh, three star. So let's go ahead and check out and see what uh, the next attack is. All right, so we got Noob Revenge. And uh, let's see how he does this. Man, this just looks incredible when you got your Archer Towers upgraded all the way like that. It really it really fits the theme of the Town Hall 10, so I'm liking that. Uh, but he's going in, he's pulling out all the Clan Castle troops, and he's deploying just about everything. He's going to force his way into this. Now typically when I attack, I don't really use the Lightning spell. Uh, just because I like that extra free spell to go with my attack. But uh, if you're really good and you don't need two free spells, then you're going to most likely pick a lightning spell to take out their clan castle. However, when your towers are set to multi like this, the infernal towers, then that makes it easier for your P.E.K.K.A.s and your heroes to get to the town hall. So it, it looks like he's already in there and he's taking out the town hall and he's trying to go for maybe a three star it looks like. Let's see if he can do it. If only the queen had a golem to back her up, she could probably do more damage. But it looks like she might get into the core and be taken out right there. The heroes are going shopping along with the pecking wizards. They just love going around the place. Now some might say that's that's bad, but it is kind of good as well because it guarantees somewhat a 50% win when they do that. If you're really bad at spell placement and your heroes kind of go the wrong way, then they might get stuck and you might lose without your 50%. So sometimes it's good that they go around like that. Oh, and there was just a big battle between the kings. But the defender took it. 
Oh, and he's got the last of the money. The bank is empty. And down he goes. All right, you guys, so that was Noob Revenge, and he was attacking uh, Lynn Sander <laughs> on the 300 clan. All right, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and do a live raid now. Let's see if we can find anybody down here. Whoa, they're already going in. Looks like they're using the Pekus. Uh, typical gold wipe. They have, this guy is just forcing his way in. Big King is doing big things. <laughs> Now, okay, he's got the Infernal Towers frozen, but the Queen is going to cause some trouble. She's going to stay behind that wall, but the jump spell is there in place so that they can freeze the Infernal Towers and take her out. Now, the only thing left is that Infernal Tower. I don't know. You might ask me, but I would probably position the Queen in a different spot, maybe where the Mortar is up there. But that's okay because he's still going. He might not get the 50%. We'll have to see. Anything is possible when you're doing live raids. Whoa. It looks like the peck is out there. He's going to try and clean it up. One more percent if they can do it. The wizards are in the back and they're going to try and take out this archer tower. They got it. 50% is in the bag. Dang, I just can't imagine people doing three stars like this. <laughs> it's really tough. That's where the hog riders come in, I guess. Oh, okay. So I guess he just wants to go ahead and clean up the rest of these out here. Uh, get as much damage as he can. He's making a statement. Now, nah, I really like the Go Wipe. Go Wee Wee is good also. All depends on what you want. This guy is just not playing. He really wants to do some damage here. He threw out all the rest of his troops. The only thing left are the archers over here in the corner. And that just about ends it right there for him. 57%, I'm not mad at you. So you guys, that's it right there. That is the war with 388.85 in King's Rock favor. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment box down there. And we'll keep doing more clan wars and leaderboards. Thank you for watching. This is Gasson, and I'll see you next time. Gasson out.